awesome and welcome to back to Will You Press the Button? I really like these games. They're, uh, the, they evoke conversation. So, here we go. You will be able to easily fund your firstborn child through college, but your secondborn child will be kidnapped at birth and returned to you after to you aged after college while uh, sure I'll press the button because just cause my second born child is uh, kidnapped I still got my firstborn child and he can go through college and become someone awesome. So yes, I would. Forty-two percent of people have pressed this button while 58% did not. What is what? To each his own, to each his own. Your breath can cure people, but you can taste anything sweet. That's a win-win. Like, you have cancer, you don't anymore, but I won't be able to taste anything sweet so I won't get diabetes or any other shitty and but if I had diabetes I can just breathe on myself and cure myself of the disease. So, yes. Seventy one percent of people have pressed the button while twenty nine percent did not. High five you, you. I give you air from my lungs. Uh, that's what breath is. Uh, so long as I can still taste peppered beef jerky. I guess Yang Chi Phillips likes beef jerky. Awesome. Beef jerky is so good. Half Life 3 will be released, but whoever plays the game to the end dies. I will press the button because just cause you die at the end doesn't mean you have to get to the end. You can just 
have a lot of fun in the meantime. Like up until the end. 41% of people have pressed the button while you 59% did not. What is wrong with you? Uh, okay. Uh, the Holocaust never happens, but neither does the civil rights movement. I will not because the Holocaust is part of our history and without it we would know not to do it. So, huh? Thinking. 39% of people have pressed the button while 61% did not. Yeah, see? It was a good dilemma. Dilemma. Okay. Would you like to start over as a new person? But you will have no memories of your past life. Well, okay. Ah. Uh, if you're on your deathbed and you really want to just start over, but you have no wisdom, no wisdom from your past life. Like, oh, I shouldn't stick my hand in this pot of boiling hot water. Ah, uh, I think that's a win-win. 47% of people have pressed the button while 53% did not. Also too, if you started a new life, well, let's see what they say. I would miss my past life if I don't remember it. Solid point. But I can see where people go like, oh my God, would you wanna do this all again? But then, if you have no memories, you won't know that you did it before. See? You get to live in a flat with your best friend and you go on an adventure nearly every day. Oh my god. Ah, uh, that would get tiring after a while. Every partner you have thinks you're game with your best friend and leaves you. No? I like having, I like being on a team. Oh, this is 50-50. 50% 50 
press the button while fifty percent did not. Hmm. Split even. You will become the most powerful man in the world. You will get AIDS and die in 30 years. No, I have no aspiration to be the most powerful man. Thirty-seven percent of people have pressed this button, while sixty-three percent did not. I like that dilemma. You have the ability to identify the cure to any disease, but everyone who currently has the illness or disease dies when you find the cure. Okay, well, I will not. I'm not sure why, I don't want to get into it, but I will not. 68% pressed the button while 32 did not. Awesome! You can travel back and forth as much as you want. But the time travel will always be deducted from your remaining lifetime. I don't want to go in the past or in the future. I'm just happy as it is. 47% of people have pressed the button while 53% did not. You gain magical powers and will never grow old. Your magic powers start off very weak but will increase with time. If you survive long enough, you will become the strongest magic user in existence and will be able to do pretty much anything you want. But everybody is aware of the threat you if you survive. Governments and secret societies seek to kill you before you reach your potential. No, I will not. I don't want to be constantly worrying. Seventy percent have pressed this button while thirty percent did not. I guess everybody doesn't mind if the world wants to kill them as long as they have power. What is wrong with you? Anyway, you get front row tickets to any concert you wish. You have to sell a limb of your body per every concert. No, just cause, just cause you're 
front row doesn't mean you can't still enjoy it from further back. In fact, in the front row you'd be constantly craning your neck and it would be too loud. You have all the knowledge in the world. You lose all of your childhood memory. No, because life is not about knowing everything right off the bat, but is learning through shit. Anyway, yeah, I like that. You can talk to animals, but you will never understand the human language. Awesome, humans are awful anyway, and animals are where it's at, yo. 39% of people have pressed the button, while 61% did not. Also, technically, we humans are animals, so that creates a double negative. So, yeah, humans are animals, therefore you understand them. Right on, Edwin Solchik. You save the world and make it a better place, but you go down in history as a bad person. Sure. If I make the world a better place, then really I don't care what people think of me. Hail, hail, Luch. Oh, okay. 71% of people have pressed the button while 29% did not. I like that question. I like all questions. Questions are awesome. You have a magic bank account that has an infinite supply of junk. Okay, well, I've been called to dinner. Ah, uh, don't forget to subscribe for more content. I do two videos a day, five days a week. I get weekends off. When November 30th hits, I will start doing uh, commentaries on society. Twitter is in the description. Hit like if you liked it. Goodbye.